Hey, what's up guys? My name is Brandon Brown. Welcome to my channel. So today is a very important day for me because I have finally got my AfricanAncestry.com results. Uh, just a little backstory for anybody who doesn't know what AfricanAncestry.com is. I first heard about them on The Breakfast Club. Chadwick Bozeman of Black Panther, he was giving an interview and he was saying uh, he got his results back from African Ancestry. And if you're a black person in America, African American, you know, this is the site that you need to go to because they have the most uh, credible sources. They can give you the most detailed uh, information about what part of Africa your ancestors may have been from. You know, I know there's other sites like uh, Ancestry.com and, uh, you know, and 23andMe and all that stuff, but i rather, you know, go to a site that uh, is, you know, first of all, a black-owned business and one that is strictly for African people or African-American people of African descent to uh, basically tell me what part that I'm from because I think that they, their main focus is, is, is on us, you know, for their entire company. So I was really excited. Uh, a couple months ago, I did the swab. Uh, it takes about four months, you know. It's, it, I did this about four months ago. I just did the swab and I mailed it in. It takes a while, but, you know, better late than never. I'm not really pressed on, you know, the timing. But I finally got, like, the results and... Uh, before I open this, I, I just really, I wanted to, you know, just really express, like, one of my favorite quotes, it, it goes, uh, to be African-American is to be African without memory and to be American without privilege. So, I really, that quote really resonates with me because, you know, growing up and, and being African-American, you know, we, we were stripped of you know, what part of Africa. So I admire people who are Nigerian, Ethiopian, Ghanaian, like people who really, you know, know what part of Africa they're from. And we don't know that. And so I've been, you know, I, growing up, I used to say, oh, I'm, I'm African too. And, you know, I have, I have uh, you know, African friends from Nigeria. And they're like, no, you're, you're not, you're, you're American or you're, you're half black or whatever. And so I really didn't like that. And, you know, it's not in... And it sucks that we don't know where we come from as African Americans. So it's very important for me to know. Uh, when you do the DNA test, they, they have like two different options. There's one, you can do a swab and you can find out from your mother's side and they'll tell you all in your results will be your mother, your grandmother, like everybody from your mother's side's results. And they have an option if you wanna do your dad's side, you know, so you can, but they don't recommend the dad because if you're African American, you might have a lot of European results. And for me being black, I don't want to, you know, you to tell me that my ancestors were from Europe or some, you know, because, you know, the whole uh, enslavement thing, they were raping and sexually assaulting our ancestors. So there's a lot of, you know, interracial, uh, you know, bloodline because of that. So they recommend, you know, getting mainly your mother's side, if you don't mind, you know, possibly find out that you're, you know, your dad's side or, you know, others, you know, people in your dad's bloodline may have been Caucasian because of that. Um, I went with my mother's side because I just really wanted to know, like, my mother's side of the results and because of what they told me prior. And it's finally here. Woo! All right, y'all. I'm about to do this. <laughs> Somebody Q Mori voice. And the results are in. <laughs> Dear Mr. Brown, it is with great pleasure that I report our matriclan an analysis successfully identified your maternal genetic ancestry. By analyzing your mitochondrial DNA sequence, we have determined that you share maternal genetic ancestry with Tikar people in Cameroon today. Tikar people in Cameroon. Wow. Our analysis uh, encompasses hypoverbal. Yeah, I'm not tripping. I know how to read. This is some. They got some words in here. That's is is a lot. Like next to each other. Our analysis encompasses hypo hyper very variable regions one, two, and three of your MT DNA. You have inherited these segments of DNA from your mother, and they were passed on consistently from mother to daughter over the last 500 to 2,000 years. So. 
They are unique to your maternal lineage. We analyze the variants within these regions to determine the parts of your mtDNA that you share with people within a specific ethnic group, present day country and haplo group. The HVR variants listed below indicate DNA sequence patterns that you share with the T car. The combination of HVR variants determines your membership. Uh, the sequence and similarity score represents our 100% confidence level in your results. So, uh, they have a, a, a haplo group. Uh, they'll show you that. They'll show you sequence similarity score, which is 100%. They'll show you H1R1, HVR1 variants, HVR2 variants, HVR3 variants. Uh, not sure what that is, but I'm going to do some reading on that. Uh, in close, you will find a certific certificate of ancestry that, that authenticates your maternal ancestry and a booklet to understanding and sharing your results. Please be sure to join the African Ancestry online community. There you can download a digital copy of, of the African Ancestry Guide. Uh, to help you learn more about uh, the peoples and culture in Cameroon. So, I am Cameroon. That's dope. I can't wait to put that flag in my bio. <laughs> wow. Come on, baby. Brandon Brown shares maternal genetic ancestry with t -car people living in Cameroon. Wow. This also came, you know, included uh, with it. It says, now that you know where you're from, you know, you can look up, you know, where on the map. Uh, it's understanding your results. They have all this stuff. Uh, basically, my results are all the results from my mother's side. So I'm going to show this to my mother so that she can know her, her results are the same. And, wow, damn, I want to shed a tear right now. This is crazy. Like, that's dope, you know? Alright, not gonna get emotional. I'm not gonna get emotional. Uh, just knowing where I come from is very important, and, I, and I'm so glad that now I know. Um, everybody, I really recommend that you use Ancestry, AfricanAncestry.com, AfricanAncestry.com. Uh, if you're a black person in America, if you're, you know, if you know, if you know where your people come from, even if your people come from the Caribbean, uh, you know, African people were enslaved there, so that's not, you know, really where your people are from. Uh, you still want to, if you want to find out your results, I would recommend going with African Ancestry. Uh, it's very, it's a, it's a very dope site. It's, a hundred, it's very accurate. Uh, the reviews uh, show for it and I would recommend it. Thank you so much guys for, you know, watching this journey with me. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, please like, subscribe. If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment and I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you.